All right, let's do it. Oh, uh, my my chaos, not chaos. My my um my my Uchi could go up one more if I made it into um if I did so, like. So, I still think that the damage scaling on your Uchi as it is right now is far superior to that to going chaos. Yes, absolutely. Because okay. uh, uh, someone and else... the chaos one hurts you when you swing it. Hmm. All right, fuck it. Well, it doesn't matter. Offer your souls. Do it. Hey, cool. Oh, Oh, that was awesome! <laughs> the spirit of what I once was. It's behind you. Ornstein is there. <laughs> oh, that was fucking great. That was... Unlock me a big fantasy door. That was fucking great, mate. Bruv. Yeah, big fantasy doors. That He was right. He yeah, was he, right. That, he was right about big fantasy doors are cool. Especially this big fantasy door. It's one of my favorite ever. All right, goodbye, Ornstein. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh okay. Ooh. All right. What is that? I'm gonna take a piss. <laughs> Welcome back. Who is that? Well, why don't you take a look? Not just what? This is the coolest door. What is... Those are the knights that went with Gwyn to link the flame. And I don't know where you are right now, because that shit extends to infinity, but there's fucking ghosts and shit all over the place. What happened to them? I imagine they got scorched all to shit when he linked the flame. And now they just... They're kind of ghosty. But they're not... Okay. There should be a- there should be a, a zone where you can't put signs down. Yep. Alright. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I've been here before. You have! In the far, far future. When there is no longer a single fucking part of this standing. But I like to think, like, look what happened to this area when he linked the flame. You can tell that all of the melting happened in one direction, which implies that there was, like, a fire tornado that actually engulfed the entire place. And that's how far the flame has died down. Whereas it used to encompass, like, this fucking football stadium, it's now contained entirely within the kiln. I spied something. Mm-hmm. I don't know how close it was. Let me take another look. I saw someone sign. Oh, yeah? I did. Okay. Well, you'll find it. I'm sure. So, congrats. Here's your victory lap. What a fucking pretty area, man. It's one of my favorite final areas. Ooh. And this is just ash. <laughs> yeah. Just mountains of it. All right. It really, it really drives home, like, now listen, dude. a dead fireplace. Are you even gonna try it? Because you know why I'm here. Yeah. And you're probably, oh, you're gonna try it. You're probably aware, and you, you probably want me to do this. Oh, yeah. So... They know. Why even try it? So this is the first point in the game in which they will respawn. The reason why is because they're going to drop every kind of chunk I see. every single time. I see. This is your get your shit up to plus 15 spot. Do it now or forever hold your peace. Yep. Get your shit to plus 15. I did see that. Fuck, where'd that summon sign go? You will find it. You will find it, no problem. I fucking promise. I, can't, uh, I thought that was the unblockable one, but he didn't put his hands up. Okay. Fuck you. Your shield has really been very helpful. Guy. It doesn't even fucking stagger you. Good trade. You're so strong. And hey, look, there's a red chunk. So yeah, even if I was coming here... 
under Gwyn's orders, they would still be attacking Oh, absolutely, because they're protecting him. But everyone should know the deal by now. In fact, they should know the deal better than anybody. That, uh... Hey, man. If got... someone made it here... <laughs> they killed gods! They not they killed lords! They killed all of them, in fact. Why would you stand a chance against the Lord Slayer? Well, to be fair, the guys in the black armor are the ones that got their armor scorched fighting the demons in the fucking Chaos War. You're not wrong. So they're for real. Alright. Archers, come on. I love how, like, the place is so wrecked, there isn't even a real path to it anymore. I don't even know what I'm running on exactly. Like, the ground has been melted. Oh, you're not an archer. Just a guy. How smart is here? It's pretty smart. Mortal Kombat to do As long that. as you can keep him on this straight and narrow, you're good. Wow. Oh, one more. Oh no, one more. Come on, man. There you go. Each of them has hit me once, though. Yep. That's not that bad. And it's just enough to be worth a sip. Just a sip. Especially since you have 20. Oh. This place is so fucked, man. Archer Knights would be bad here. Oh, it would be- it would be absurd. There you go. Ah, this is where you find the set. I see. How good is it? It's pretty good. It would be. <laughs> it's not as good as what you have. The Knights followed Lord Gwyn when he departed to Link the Fire, but they were burned to ashes in the newly kindled flame, wandering the world as disembodied spirits ever after. Mm -hmm. Is that a play to all of them? I believe it does. So it's not quite as good as your stone armor in terms of defense, but it is much lighter while being pretty close. If you it. wanted something at the last minute to yeah. just push it. It's out. a good goddamn set. Oh, for sure. For sure. It's also super fucking cool. They've been there the whole game, and now you get to be one. It's the final cost. Right at the end. Right when you're blowing through them like the, the fucking generic uh, hollows that you started the game killing. <sighs> okay. There's your summon sign. No, that's a message. That's a message. That is that's a not a message. Side. That's a summon sign. You're right. This is your reward for completing his side quest in that manner. In that manner. You get this out of it. He remains alive. And he can Throughout come help you out. The whole fucking thing. <laughs> How? How are you this good? <laughs> How are you that strong? <laughs> How? Tell me! His items have no special properties Tell me. of any kind. <laughs> I hit him when I switched weapons there. He just backed off. He didn't like it. Jesus! He's so tough. It makes no sense! <laughs> <laughs> he might be a weirdo idiot, but he's your pal. You're stupid, you're dumb, you're, you're hard-headed, but you got big heart. And that's what counts. Oh, get in there, you don't want Solaire to get hit. No, no, no. So when you sip, he'll get healed. Oh, that only works for fucking human... Ah, oh, that sucks. What are you talking about? That's crazy, crazy talk activate? Yeah, well, it's supposed to- they used to work that way for act human players, because they can't heal themselves. And that's the halberd type, eh? There you go. Now, granted, even if he dies in this fight, that's not death, that's just him going back to his home planet. Of course. Imminent wretch! What a- what? <laughs> you just call- so- I want you to think of all the really cool boss introductions that you've seen over this game. Just let it happen, man. Okay. That's correct. You don't get one. That's correct. All hail Lord Gwyn. And I don't know if you can tell, he is... Defender of the Seven Realms. He is completely hollowed out. King of the Andals. Defender of the first men. Long may he reign. You're oh. wearing the coolest armor. 
and that's a cool move. Sure is. And, and you are a radical fucker. Oh, he's super good. Solaire and you throwing it up in a fucking fight. The Lord of Sunlight, Zeus, God, whatever. So despite the fact that he's like a god of lightning, he's now the Lord of Cinder. Uh-huh. The first Lord of Cinder, even. And for you at this point, unless... Oh my god, Solaire is fucking saving, saving your ass. Here we go. Uh, unless you botch it up, this counts as your victory lap. And it's kind of supposed to be one. Praise the sun. I don't have it, but it's fine. Switch it. Oh, you never got I it? I never got it. Oh, well. Bye, Solaire. That's fine. Give him one of these. All right. Congrats. Why don't we, why don't we read about Gwyn's soul? You're even human. I am. That's why I took my helmet off. Is it, oh, it's not a key item. Yeah, it is. It's not? What the fuck? Am I going nuts? It's a usable item. There it is. You can consume it. All right, because you can trade it to somebody for a, a lightning. Woo! Who do you think? I have no idea! Andre? And Solaire. Oh! He, he teaches you the, the best lightning spell as a result. By giving him the soul of Gwyn? Yep. Alright, let's read it. Soul of the Gwyn. The Gwyn. Lord of Sunlight. And Cinder, who linked the first flame. Lord Gwyn bequeathed most of his power to the gods and burnt as Cinder for the first flame. But even so, Lord Gwyn's soul is a powerful thing indeed. So, all the people that you ran into that he gave bits of his fucking power to, all of his kids, all of this shit, right? He left nothing for himself. He burnt himself to ash, and he's still strong enough to fucking nearly fight you off. But he gave most of it away. Yeah, he gave like 90% of it away. Oh my god, the whole and time. And that's why Nameless King is so impressive to me. Because Nameless King is supposed to be him before he burnt himself into shit. The whole time, I was think looking at that like, here, have a piece. I have so much that you can have a little piece. Well, he did. Here's a little piece. But then he went to and burned most of that away at the flame. Now, uh, the the DS3 final encounter. Um, yeah. What's it called? The uh, uh, Soul of Cinder. So okay. That is everyone who has ever linked the first flame. And, and then when you get it down to like 25% health, its moveset reverts to that moveset because it's the first one. So that is then him plus everyone else. Ever. All the way through time. Yep. Uh, but, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 um... What he is here is a hollow. But people have been coming to him and doing the same thing and linking the flame prior to me. No, you're the first one. I thought I was the first. No, no, I. I it wasn't the. It wasn't the. Gwyn. Chain. Gwyn is the first one to link the flame. The chosen undead is the second, maybe. And then everyone else after that follows. My assumption, based on the way everything happened that with with Frampt, mm -hmm. is that this machine has been going. Yeah. And you're the first person to make it. To make it all the way. Yeah. You're the first person to actually get there. How do you know that? Because Gwyn's alive when you get there. And you kill him. And also, think about this. You just killed the source for the flame. Meaning, you have two options right now. You can go and link the flame. Or you can walk out that door. But Fram's goal was for you to... Link the flame. Link the flame. Yep. Did linking the, and succeed Lord Gwyn, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah. The whole plan, of course, was for you to show up and, and fuck yourself over the yep. process, and, and linking the flame destroys you. Yep. Did that plan include killing Gwyn? Yeah. 
You need his soul, too. Okay, so Gwyn's plan actually... Eventually, someone's gonna have to walk through him to do it. So his plan does include killing him, taking his own soul yes. alongside if, all the rest. Eventually. And 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 linking the flame with you, all of you it. have basically killed every single deity in this universe at the time that you are now in order to bundle all of their goodness into you and then burn it. Then his his plan is not as selfish as it sounds. No, because his well his plan one involves himself immolating himself into a hollowed fucking mess. The idea that he was afraid of the coming dark was one that I I took to be. Therefore, I'm gonna back myself up into this corner and set up these stupid machinations. No, to make it so that I can continue and, and, to exist. And that's why Vendrick is, in two is the actual opposite of this where he actually literally backs himself into a corner and refuses to link the flame. Here, he didn't care about himself as much as he cared about the age. The age of the gods and all so that. So he wanted the age to keep going, that's not right. he himself. Mm -hmm. That is different from so, what I expected. And that's and why the music is sad. Because Gwyn's a good guy. For the second that I heard it. Yeah. Gwyn's a good guy. And in, in DS3, once he switches to his Gwyn moveset, you hit that music comes back. Does it? Yes. That's cool. Oh, you're gonna go Tarkas? Oh, you're cool. So. Yeah, you got two options. Would it actually be this over here? That's what it would be. So my favorite thing about this, and it goes into Framp's trick, is that the whole game teaches you, Oh, I killed the boss. I'm going to go like the bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> but you might actually, you might not even think about it. No, I didn't think about it at all when I did Just it. And I was super confused. Mm -hmm. Alright, then. Oh, no! You're heading into the fucking... Udix gun deer dark ending. I was gonna say I'm not gonna homeward out because I bet you there's a cutscene. Oh, of course there's a cutscene. I was gonna say I, I thought so. I felt it. Hello. My lord, bless thy safe return. Let Kara and Frant serve your highness. Really? Well, I mean, we are here plan failed. So meet the new boss. Not the same as the old boss. Very different, in fact. Let the true God be cast upon the world. Our Lord returns. So, all hail Lord Tarkington. So what? So what's interesting about that is that ending is not dependent on whether or not you actually spoke to Kath. So if you decide to walk out, regardless, you regardless, get it. you get that, which can make it very confusing, <laughs> right? Especially if they drop the name out of a character. You've yeah, never and met. you're like, wh who? who? Who are you, people? So hey, you beat it. You beat Dark Souls. Did you like it? I'm gonna establish the kingdom of Tarkington. <laughs> But would you link the flame when it came time to do it? Not if I found out the truth, no. Yeah. Because guess what? Gwyn, being all about... Me learning what I just did about him, where he's yeah. like, No, take me too. <laughs> yeah. And keep the age going? Yeah. I'm too much of a coward for that. Oh, no. My my brain firing the synapses and, and shooting the electrons that it is yeah. to keep the illusion of sight and processing information going... Mm -hmm is too important. Well, see, to that's that's why you got to trick these stupid undead. And that's why I'd never walk into a teleporter. <laughs> that's <laughs> it's, it's why I would never clone myself and and let let that take my place. I would never create a duplicate body. What what about uh, replace yourself in a different timeline? Because nope, never. Because the illusion of consciousness is too important and I'm too much of a coward to ever think see Ventur that risking it to not know Vendrick is in, more worth in it. DS2 figures, listen, I'm not just sealing myself away for selfish reasons. My wife seems really suspicious. Yes, yes. And um, I'm pretty sure there's an Age of Dark coming. And I know that if I 
light the, the fire again, things will go back to normal for a while. But that won't actually solve the problem. It just delays it to- it just passes the buck to the next people. So he figures all this goofy shit with the crowns and all that Dursal's two stuff is like, Well, maybe you can beat the curse. And the answer is, not really. No. You can delay it for one person, maybe. Using, like, the most powerful artifacts in the world. And then the bearer of the curse comes along. And, and he seeks, actually seeks gets, less. And then he actually gets to the bottom of it and finds out about the wife, yeah. Now, um, um, recontextualize Dark Soul 3's ending now for me, then. <laughs> How so? Uh... The well, the, the the basic deal in Dark Souls Three is that it's well because there's the I, it's I, been going on for a while. I remember the ending you got, but I don't. The, I, the I ending remember. that I got was the Dark Lord ending, in which uh, Kath, uh is still pushing for his bullshit. Yes, and is still like, no man, the fucking Dark Lord and shit's gonna be dope. And even though they're winning at in, that point, instead the of the Dark is clearly winning. Instead of walking off and just like letting the flame die out, it's like. I get the impression that steps were being taken to increase hollowing because you see you see Ages of Dark and Dark Three, right? You go into the past during an Age of Dark, right? In the fucking uh, you do, yeah, where you fight Gundir yeah, again, yeah. In which, like, no, these you, do these do like. trade off now and then, right? And like, it must be quite frustrating to Frampt. Sorry, not Frampt. Calf, calf. That eventually, like, yeah, we got this Age of Dark. It's going. Oh crap, it's somebody swinging. totally linked the flame again. The pendulum Fuck. swings back the other way. So he goes, okay, well what if you absorbed the flame into yourself and like negated it and turned it into human- or whatever the fuck that process is with the marriage and all that goofy shit. With, uh, what's her name? Henry. Wouldn't that all- wouldn't you just make it all gray? Yes. That was- that was the kind conclusion. Of. A little. You make it all gray. And the- the fucking sun turns into a hollow and the world becomes hollow. Like the earth. Yeah. Um, you stop the pendulum. There, and, and there's a bunch of weird shit happening at the end of that, where, like, all of the Earth is, like, physically contorting onto itself. Now, to be fair, if you could stop entropy... Yes. ...in our, wor our world... Yeah, I wouldn't do that. ...it would be a really, really shitty situation that would be, for life. You kind of need entropy. It would be a shitty situation for life. It's kind of life. important. Um, and the other ones, uh, one is that you link the flame. Mm -hmm. Classic. Yes. And the other is that you, um... Uh, I don't know. It's it's called the e the end of fire, and it's an ending I haven't gotten yet. Yes, indeed. And now you're back here. The dark sign brands the undead, and it just kicks you right back into this. Hmm. So, this but the end of fire, to my knowledge, is you talking to the firekeeper and you guys being like, "This cycle shit sucks." So you don't actually get your um. Well, we'll see in a second, I suppose. Oh, you're still wearing all your shit. Yeah, yeah so the, your new game plus begins right away. You don't get to choose. Immediately. Yeah, and it sucks. In DS2, you, you, you get to choose. And in Bloodborne, you can't choose, which sucks again. And in DS3, you can't. Okay, so the other version, if I link the fire, what do I see? Uh, you this see your character's hand catching on fire, fight. and your character's like, Oh, that's weird. And then their arm catches on fire, and they're like, oh. And they, they, your whole body begins to immolate, and you, your character clearly doesn't like it. Um, and then it kind of pans back as, like, the entire kiln starts to immolate. And you, you... Big fire. Big fire. Okay. It's a highly confusing ending. If, if you did not talk to a bunch of hidden NPCs. Okay. Hey, Oscar. Um, You're doomed to be fucked. Yeah, for sure, for sure. He's super healthy right there, though. Yeah. And right before he gets fucking hammered through the four. And then... Uh, was there a third? Third? Or was it just... Uh, not here, no. It's just... Linker, in, in, linker in walk. In Scholar of the First Sin, there is a third. Uh, and uh, in DS3, there's... Uh, Link the Flyer, the Lord of the Hollows ending that we got, uh, End of Fire, and... End of Fire... Haha... Uh, <laughs> fake out. Followed by... Fucking uh, murdering the Firekeeper. And that's all there is to yeah. it. Well, uh, oh no, that's not gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. So, uh, I guess with all that said and done, uh, gameplay-wise, yeah, it's fucking stellar. Yep, um, so it's a pretty good game, I guess. You know, the, uh, for lore, 
Hey, Plague, the moment you hear this, send me a message. Yeah, I want to, you want to, you want to dive deep? Well, I, I would highly suggest you go check out Epic Name Bros, uh, prepare, uh, prepare to cross. Well, you know, maybe, no, that's maybe we grab him or grab Spy and then we jump on a spoiler cast. Yeah. And then actually oh, the, correct. The ancient spoiler cast? And actually correct well, uh, and go through we should what probably, we need to understand. We should probably beat the Dark Souls 3 DLC before we do to that. finally. Because there's stuff in there. Oh, I see. There's, there's stuff. There's more content. There's, there's important stuff in there. Yeah, um, and I guess, I guess... So you can see why this would become, a, like, a, a fucking, like, bullet point of the of 2011 when it came out. Like, ages ago. Well, it's more than a bullet point. Right, like, no, but it's like, oh, oh, shit! This, it, this did, in, like, it's not hyperbole to say that this changed the way that people looked at games for a while, because this reminded people about difficulty. And it reminded me, people Difficulty about existed before, but it was forgotten. Yeah, and this reminded people about difficulty. It reminded people about the the, uh, the corpse run. Mm -hmm. It reminded people about <laughs> yeah. um, uh, uh, maps that are shortcut based. Yep. Instead of like just a level a based. line. Yep. yep. And uh, it reminded you, I guess, of like, you know, things like Fallout, where you kill an NPC that fucks over your game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was not the first, it was just a reminder of a and lot you, of things. And you can also see, I hope, where I, I like Demon Souls a lot, and Liam adores Demon Souls, I think it's still his favorite. But you can see why this set the world on fire and Demon Souls did not. Mm, yeah, yeah, I can't, yeah. Because this is this is fixing a lot of those those mistakes. This is like a fucking, I view it as like a sublimation, it's like a fucking burning away the, the chaff of Demon Souls. All the, all the really goofy bullshit, and having it the connected world probably adds more to it than it probably adds less to it than I think it does, but I think that applies to everyone. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah. I mean, in each case, they're you know, and, and like I think this is just like again the the more coherent version of the idea is like Sonic two to Se Sonic one, right? Yes, Mega Man two to Mega this Man is, one. This is Sonic two to Sonic one. That's what you get, and I yeah. get, and I, and I get that. And no, Dark Souls two is not Sonic at three and Knuckles. <laughs> Bloodborne is. I, yeah, we can argue that one. <laughs> that Wait, can be argued. You can definitely argue that. And then what's Dark Souls 3? Don't tell me it's Sonic. It could be Sonic CD or it could be Sonic 3D Blast, depending so, how much you like that It's game. a lock-on lock cart, and then you put- you attach your- oh god. I don't like this. Okay, uh, well, you got huge, you killed all the gods, you fucked up the planet. Good job, Woolly. Wollington, rather. I thought I had one more thing to say. Oh no. But it might be gone. That's awkward. That's awkward. Well, okay, we'll go I guess out. it's go out on a oh, low note. Okay. Oh, oh, just, oh, mm, nope. eh. okay. Just the most awkward. All right. Yep. Oh, just, just, just run into a corner. Oh no. It's, <laughs> it's all going to shit. Oh no. It's all no. Going don't to take shit. that fucking ring off. It's all going to shit. Don't you take that fucking ring? No. Uh, oh. I'm, oh, they give you a warning. Okay, dude. That I. That's, they give you a warning! That's great. <laughs> that's great. No one ever- did you ever know? Did, no one did it! I never take the ring off. No one did I've it! Never, why would I take the fucking ring off? Holy shit! That's great! How nice of that's them! That's so nice! That's so nice! Thank you guys! 